Hello, my name is Alpna Patia, and I am a teaching assistant professor at the University of Colorado Boulder in the Department of Economics. This presentation is about how I have taken exit tickets online and made them native to my learning management system, um, which is, we use Canvas at CU Boulder, um, and uh, what my experience has been with taking exit tickets online and what my student feedback has been. Exit tickets play, I think, um, as a teacher, they help us provide feedback, they help us synthesize content, um, they require the student to do some synthesizing of the content, not just like say, well, I'm struggling, but why are you struggling or where are you exactly stuck? Um, it can also challenge the student uh, with a question requiring some more thinking. And then, of course, it can, I think, be um, community building, at least between the student and the teacher, um, and maybe even their group to, you know, know that they can talk about where they are stuck and where they are struggling. Um, in an online class um, or an asynchronous class, um, exit tickets become even more important because the disconnect between student and the teacher is even more. You're never face to face with your student. So you can't read their facial expressions to know how they're doing. And the student doesn't, may not necessarily feel comfortable reaching out to you to tell you that they are stuck or struggling with a concept. So um, I kind of use exit tickets religiously in my um, online classes. Um, I may use them at the end of a modular concept around exams and projects. Um, I kind of use them every week um, so that I'm consistent and the student knows that this kind of question is gonna be coming at them. But I do have multiple types of exit tickets that I um, use. So I alternate between the exit tickets or the type of exit ticket questions that I give kids online. Um, if you have a course website, if you are on an LMS, um, you can use Google Forms, uh, you can use Polev, Zoom polling, Socrative, and you know there's lots of surveying methods that you can use. The problem is um, these methods are not native to Canvas, which is the LMS that I use. And I really don't want to be sending students and myself outside to provide um, me this information and then for me to go gather this information. Um, I want my tickets to be integrated into the Canvas modules, um, especially because I can use um, their speed grader um, facility if it's integrated in there. Um, but the biggest pro of you know, using Poll Everywhere, Zoom Polling, Socrative, is that this can be anonymous and sometimes too, um, but mostly I use exit tickets in Canvas. Um, I try to use questions built into Canvas notes, maybe an interactive video quiz using PlayPosit, using Flipgrid, um, Qualtrics, and Google Slides. Um, Google is integrated into our institution um, LMS, which is Canvas, and it really really helps me to use SpeedGrader. Um, I use um, Canvas discussion board as well, but that is not private at all. So forget anonymity that your student <laughs> doesn't want to tell you their name. They're sharing the information with everyone in class. So um, if I use discussion board, I typically don't use it for exit ticket um, questions. Um, quizzes sometimes help because they are better for auto graded type questions. So sometimes you just want to um, have ease of grading and ease of collection of methods and quizzes are good for that. So for example, this is a dump assignment. Um, they dump three things, you know, a combination of definitions, graphic equations that are important to you. Um, take screenshots. You don't have to learn how to type everything and then tell me, um, are you stuck here? Um, and often in my advanced courses, especially intermediate macro, which I teach, I will have students just take screenshots of their textbook and be like, I don't get this. I'm really stuck here. Um, and this really, really, really helps me in knowing exactly where the student is stuck. I can, when I'm going through this, I can just quickly respond to them saying, hey, um, did you think about it this way? Or look up this video. Um, that I've posted here, or come by and start by office hours and we'll go through this. And I promise you that, you know, you'll feel better about it at the end of this. Um, sometimes I may just ask them, 
dump three things that you'd want to see on an exam note card. And then that way we can contribute towards a note card that we may be creating um, that we can share with everyone because that's a question that I do ask them. Is it okay for me to share this information with everyone in class? And then when we create a note card and that we can use that um, as a study tool for everyone in class. Here's an example of an exit ticket that's just independent of Google um, Workspace, but it's on Canvas. Um, and this is what I'll put in. I'll say answer three or all four. I'll say, how are you doing? Just a simple social emotional check. Let me know. Um, snap a selfie with a reaction to something you learned so far class. Um, what advice would you give to any future students or yourself for this class? This sort of starts showing up more around exam time for them. Um, I'll say, if you're stuck, um, you know, can you use a flowchart to check yourself and evaluate your performance? Um, th these are just snippets. I do often give them like feedback on like, how would you create a flowchart? And that's um, provided to them. Um, what would resources do you have like access to TAs or tutors that you can use right away? Um, so I provide them that in the assignment as well, but this is sort of like the example of the question that I put in there. So I rotate through these exit tickets. And what I have found over the last year is I've been very consistent in using them. The students um, actually quite love these assignments. I do give them points for them. So at the end of the week, they know that there's like a five or 10 point assignment coming up that they will use to provide me this feedback. They're excited about it. And some of the feedback that I've gotten from them, you know, on the more serious side is, um, I love how you made us pay attention to our self-learning process. And I think the, the word they use was great attention. Um, but I do find a lot of students talking about, well, I struggled this week. Maybe I need to spend more to budget more time for this class. Um, um, or, you know, maybe I do need to seek out office hours. So there is a lot of um, evaluation that they're doing. Um, and it's not all like, well, this is just hard and this just is bad. There is there is honesty that I see with students in this process. Um, I have also had these students who are struggling and, um, you know, um, because you're getting this feedback from them like once at least every two or three weeks, look at how are you doing? Um, they do feel that, you know, um, that I am patient with them, that I'm in touch with them, and that I am sympathetic towards them, which I am, but I'm sympathetic to them as and when they need it, rather than waiting for an event to happen and for them to reach out to me. I'm giving them a moment to reach out to me right away. Um, this was one of my favorites. I had multiple students say, I actually really feel heard and seen in an online class. I've never met you. I have only seen your videos, but I feel like you know me um, and often it's actually true because I have I'm, I'm sort of like with them on this journey every week um, in this space uh, if I do run into them I do feel like I know them I know a little bit about their struggles um, and then I I love um, you know all this meme and I was saving it because I knew this assignment was going to come up again so um, you know in some will be impatient and like send stuff to me right away, but some will be like, I was just waiting to share this with you. And, you know, um, based on how funny it is, and I'll ask them, can I share this with class? I will share it with the class. Um, I get lots and lots of funny faces, lots and lots of um, selfies as they're struggling with the material. And then, you know, uh, lots of selfies, not so many, but selfies with like, oh, I feel good about how I did on the exam or, you know, um, how I did on this assignment. Um, and sometimes I'll just kind of like pull those and make a collage and send them to students saying, hey, see, you were here in the beginning of class and see where you're here now. Um, and um, it's just kind of a fun thing for us to go through together. So um, I have really enjoyed uh, using exit tickets, not just as a way for me to know um, where I am in my teaching. So it's sort of self-reflection for me, but also where I see my students putting their self-reflection in there. Like, where am I in terms of my stress or my learning or what can I do better? And do I know I can reach out to my um, instructor in multiple ways? And um, they've really been a useful tool for me. It's been a successful tool for me to use in my class. And I would love to know... Um, 
what you um, may have experienced with exit tickets.